Welcome to Pinoy Cross for the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ. Joining me are Mikey Mike with the scarf over there. We got JR and we got our special guest, Dwayne. Thank you for joining us, Dwayne. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. So we're going to start off the show with the showdown, and it's going to be JR versus Dwayne to talk about and debate about some issues. So let's go to the debate floor. No talking. Welcome to the showdown. These two contestants <laughs> will be battling out an issue. And then, oh, who, ju who judges? The, the public. <laughs> the, the public. The fans will judge who has the best answer. So let's see. Make sure your answers are to the point and make sense. Okay? <laughs> this makes sense. Last time I was on here, it didn't make sense. Here we go. First question. Who's the better woman basketball personality, Kristen Ledlow or Rachel Demita? Okay, on three, you will say it out loud. Ooh. Ready? One, two, three. Rachel Kristen Ledlow. Ledlow. Oh. oh. Okay, let's go, Dwayne. You start first. Why? Well, I think because her credentials being on Inside Stuff, being on NBA on TNT, um, she, and her like her energy she brings with the interviews and all that stuff. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta put her up there uh, of a Rachel for now. <laughs> oh, for now, for now. For oh, now. Okay, I'm gonna add to that. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel is on, it's on the come up. It's on the come oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she's, she's more younger. I, I know Kristen Ledlow has all that, you know, credentials. You know, Rachel Demita's on the come up. She's catering to the, all the younger, younger people, the millennials, even the young adults. You know, um, she's also active on NBA 2K, which everyone plays. Pretty much everyone, all the basketball fans are playing. Uh, she's always active playing basketball. I know it's, it's hard to say Kristen Lalo is not active with baseball. She's busy. She's a busy woman. Mm -hmm. But Rachel Demita is also busy as well. But it just, you know, she got that younger, younger appeal towards, uh, towards uh, her audience. So, I, I mean, honestly, it's a toss up between those two women, you know? It's, it's, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still go with Rachel still. Rachel? Rachel. Okay. All right, we'll next one. We'll give it up to them, though. <laughs> you guys decide. Comment below. Next question. Oh, this is a oh, this is a big question. Will Le or you guys might agree on it. Will LeBron stay in Cleveland on three? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think he is. Okay, go go ahead. Let's go, with Jerry. You start first. I think LeBron's gonna stay. There's no there's no way he's gonna like. I I've I'm, I've been always changing my mind, but. For now, I think he is going to stay. I think whatever happens in the playoffs, whether he wins or loses, I think he, he's, it's good to end his legacy back where he started in Cleveland Cavaliers. It doesn't, it doesn't seem right to move away again and make another decision 2.0, leaving the Cleveland and going back either to Miami Heat, Los Angeles, or any other team. It's just, I think it's, it's suitable to stay here. Maybe, like, they're, they're, and they're, they, have a good, they have a good team, you know, Jordan Clarkson, um, Larry Nance Jr., George Hill, Rodney Hood, all those younger players, they're all they're on the come up too. Um, reason like the come you, up. Like yeah, yeah, the come I, know, up. I know. They're all younger players. Either way, uh, LeBron James can also build with that team. I think I think they have a, a bright future, not only from what the assets they have now, but the assets of the future. And maybe, then, then, oh, their owner might leave. So that's even even more positive that LeBron, mm -hmm. you know, because LeBron doesn't really like their, his owner. He's gonna, he's gonna boot, boot him out. Well, he's gonna boot himself out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dwayne. Well, I, mo Jerry said most of the stuff, no, but uh, no, that's all right. It's all good. But uh, yeah, no. Um, well, uh, he could mentor those young guys like Jordan Clarkson, mm -hmm. Larry Nance, um, Rodney Hood. Like he has a good, good young core that he could mentor. And I, I see Cleveland. Like if he stays, Cleveland will um, excel. And also, that's his home. Cleveland's his home. For like, sure. like. Like his son, his son, like moving, moving, moving to another city. Like his, his kids are old, and and, and then just going from to LA, like it's, I don't know, it's, it's going to be an adjustment for his kids, stuff like that. So more of a family. I think it's more maybe could be could be family, but at the same time, like um, just being just with the team, like with the moves they made at the, at the trade deadline, and how well Cleveland has done. It. Like they're about playing about 500 basketball. He's been getting like triple doubles like yeah, half yeah. the half the times now yeah. at, with those with those new players. Like if someone does leave Cleveland, I would probably think it would be Kevin Love, mm. if anything. Ooh. Um, Ooh. And then just 
and then grow with with Larry Nance and stuff like that. Like yeah. get the get those young guys in there and uh, they're up and coming. Like I, I could see LeBron staying. Like he has a good core in Cleveland. Mm. All right, there you have it. We'll see. So comment below on well, both of them are the same, so you can't really say if they're if wrong. If you agree with us or disagree with us, <laughs> you know, comment.